Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, in our last episode, we rescued Suleiman from some assassins while well, dressed as a loot player, and discovered there seems to be a little bit of a conspiracy, and maybe some of the Janissaries support the Byzantines? So we're here looking into that. Somehow this carpet merchant has something to do with it, though I'm not entirely sure how Ezio made that connection. Just that apparently the Byzantines spent a lot of time in this area. Just give me a second, I need to pay off this herald. Get my Templar awareness down. I have, by the way, I should mention this, done some stuff off camera. First of all, we bought a load of new armor. So we have the complete first set and are moving on to the second. And I've also cleared away every single uh, Templar tower in the city, so they have no more dens left. I was originally going to show that on camera, me doing all the dens and climbing all the viewpoints, which the viewpoints I've climbed all but one, which is in an area that we can't access as of the current memory. But the thing is, from what I've shown off, when it comes to climbing viewpoints and killing the Templar captains, you've already seen basically what the uh, what's going on with that. And to be honest, the viewpoints that we did climb weren't anything special. They were just basically a glorified tower in the middle of the street or something. We didn't get anything nearly as special as like the one for Top Copy Palace or the Galatid Den. We didn't have anything quite nearly that special so I didn't feel the need to show it off and all the Templar Den assassinations for their leaders were basically the same. I rushed in there, found the leader, stabbed him, usually had to fight off a few Templars to make sure that they wouldn't attack me while I was climbing the tower. Then I lit a fire and they went away. Because apparently all Templars in this city are cowards and will leave if you just light a fire somewhere. Other than that, I'm sort of slowly buying up the shops and training my assassins, which will happen both on and off camera, because this series, I'm mainly, f for Revelations, I'm mainly focused on doing the main plot stuff, as opposed to the side things, because there aren't many side things. So a lot of that will probably happen off camera. It's just a consequence of it being what it is. But anyways, let's talk to this guy and see if we can't make some progress in our investigation. You see this rat? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, oh, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rats just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 Aksha for this! My <laughs> final offer! This guy is very good I will ask about at covering his ass. I'll give him that. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Aksha. And we part as friends. Okay. Let's see, find and hail Tarek, the Janissary Captain. 
full synchronization to strike two cards with bombs. To be honest, I'm probably not even going to bother with that because Despite me saying I wanted to play around with bombs some more, I ended up, it's ending up being the case that I can't really be bothered to do much with them. But this guy has a database entry, apparently. and read it yourself if you want. I don't feel like those database entries add too much to the series, is to be honest, so unless it's an especially major and important one, I'm not actually going to read it. So, tail him. Okay, another stalk the guy missions. I don't particularly enjoy the tailing missions in Assassin's Creed, to be honest, just because they tend to drag on overly long. Among other things, because the guy you're following always walks quite slowly, and you have to follow him at an equally slow pace and watch for him turning around. Never been especially fond of these missions. But I hear that in some later games they're gone, or at the very least not as prominent. Of course, I could be wrong about that, but that's what I hear. Okay. Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! All right. I've broken many better men than you. And we got detected because he cleared everyone away. Let's try this again. That sort of thing does tend to happen with me from time to time, really. But he's within ice, so I, so I can wait here, I guess. Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. You have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! He obviously really cares about the people he's supposed to be protecting. Oh, wait. No loitering. It's. These guys are supposed to guard the Ottoman royal family, not the citizenry. My bad. So he doesn't really have a reason to give a fuck. That's right. There's no reason to care. I'll try to follow from as far back as I can, just to not get spotted. Another mission in Alexandria has finished, and someone has been promoted to assassin and can be assigned to one of my dens. Now, we're going to start assigning people to dens now, I think. This is an important Once we get meeting. through with this. Make sure I am not being followed. Tail him. Looks like... Is 
this moment talking to the paymaster of the city watch. They require our little shop to make them dozens of examples of ceremonial heads. Like there's some issues we'll have to deal with. Got to get past them. Okay. Let's get within sight of him. Fuck. Marked that one out by trying to use the rooftops. Should probably have tried with a cherry bomb or something. I think I have those on me. Let's just equip things. Yeah. Cherry bomb. We'll throw that. Distracted. Ugh. Templars haven't given up on sending assassins after Ezio, it seems. That was quite tedious. This empire is sick and basic. Pains me to say, is it's cancer. Wait. Did we get past those guys? By the power of checkpoint or something? It seems like we checkpointed past them or something. I don't know how, but that does appear to be what happened. by throwing a thing got my ass detected. Which really it should have done, let's be honest. That they should have done. So that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Jeez, that guy is paranoid. It really is. Though he kind of should be really given the fact he is being followed, so it doesn't really count as paranoia given that. And we got fucking spotted again, great. Though, just the fact that Ezio is there, and he detects us, he doesn't have any reason to know that we're anything other than some robed weirdo. I'm not sure why he feels the need, they feel the need to have that fail, like, if we were doing something suspicious, then maybe, but we really aren't. We're really not doing anything worthy of suspicion, if you ask me. and I don't need to bother with a cherry bomb. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, he was gonna turn around. Good thing I didn't hit with that passageway earlier then. Is it not? It is indeed. And we've been checkpointed. I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the postbox. Lead the way! 
charming fellow. Truly the most charming of fellows. Someone who tried to murder me. <sighs> oh, janissaries, janissaries, janissaries. Such bloody fanatics, really. The might of the Empire. Hey! Well, here we are. We got checkpointed past him again, it looks like. Excuse me, sirs. I'm headed this way, thank you. No need to be suspicious, mister. I'm just out for a stroll. Nothing more than that. Just out for a stroll. What news? Okay. Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. Manuel. Hmm. What is this? What is this now? I have to wonder. Well, whoever this Manuel is that's agreed to meet with Tarek, I'm interested. Very much so. Let's go find out what's up. It's not too far, anyways. <laughs> so, just this way. And then. You may verify the amount, Tarek. But the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the say that's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polycara. I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. What is this now? Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. Well, you have been warned quite killing no everyone would probably be viable for it. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! 
Even in times of peace, the poor are always... Yes, you can tell the Ottomans are great. If we inspire them to prevent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. Yes, let's get the peasants killed so we can get what we want. Sounds like a great plan. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Not a gentleman. No? It is not pretty, I know. But it will work. Okay. Let's get the Herald started. Will uh, time for us to start a riot then? Good citizens of Istanbul, the Janissaries collude against you. There we go. <laughs> Starting a riot to get what we want. What can I say? The old tricks are definitely the best. Return it and keep them safe from harm. I'll do what I can, but no promises. These Janissaries are definitely not on the same level as the handful we've clashed with in recent times, though, because they're falling to basically a single uh, decisive blow as opposed to what we would have had in most other cases where it would take a lot more hits to bring down a Janissary, like two or three killing blows. So these guys are definitely not on par with the usual elites. They must be new to the job. They must be new. Definitely new on the job, as I say. <laughs> Definitely new. <laughs> Though that guy is not new. <laughs> I guess we have the elites and the elite of the elite, basically. <laughs> Of course, I failed at that. Okay, we managed it, but I got too tied down fighting the super elite Janissary. Results. So that's what matters, eh? Let's go for the purpose of Manuel's visit. Okay then. Let's follow him. Paleologos. Ah. Eh. Uh. Apparently this guy is a relative of the last Byzantine Emperor. So this is his fancy ass plan to overthrow the Ottomans and get the Byzantine Empire back in charge. Probably. 
That would be my guess. So in any case... It does kind of make sense. And... And so the Byzantines are basically Templars. I suppose it stands to reason. already. anything, I guess. Just blow him up. Splinter bomb, I do love you. warehouse over here, probably. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Living like a cipher. Here we are. Finally, everything is falling into place. When the Baleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Gotcha. So, blow this shit up, then. Merda. Yeah, we have problems. But I don't think staying to fight would be my best idea, really. These bastards keep knocking me the fuck over. Wish they'd stop. Come on. Yeah, 
We got a GTFO now. That's for sure. Oh, shut up. Well. We're as anonymous as it's reasonably possible to be for now, but I'm gonna have to pay a little visit to the Heralds and such, I think, because we are not in great shape. in terms of our anonymity. Yeah, I failed to do an air assassination. Don't really care. Don't really care. Uh. Right, so now what? Assassin coming for our ass. Let's move said ass right on out of here, I say. If only Well, apparently the next thing is another of Altair's keys, so we'll have to do that next, which will presumably end this segment of the game. At least that's what I assume, because there's no other main quest marker showing up at the moment. But, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's a little bit shorter than the norm, but I have some time constraints of my own right now, and this feels like a nice spot to end it at, so we will pick up next time with our next experience at Altair's Key Retrieval, some stuff with a book, and more memories of the past. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for that. Take care, everyone, and so long for now.